Now this is the first part of uh, stripping out a, a gearbox. This is one that I've already done. It's all been all been shot blasted and it's all cleaned inside and out and it's ready to go. The the uh, this one this is out of the TR4, the original one with the, the with the thin flange on it, uh, and this one is uh, TR6 and uh, I, I think 4A as well, which has got the thicker flange on it. What you have to remember is you need slightly longer bolts for the starter motor, which goes in there, and the other bolts you, the, uh, they need to be slightly longer. So uh, don't use the ones that have come out of the TR4 because they obviously uh, won't be have, have enough thread on them. So um, this is the old one which I'm, I'm going to scrap. The, uh, uh, there is a crack in the bottom, that's the reason I took it out. So the first stage is to undo this here. Um, probably need an impact on it just to spray it. And then I'll, you have to take out this lay shaft and drive it right through. Uh, the, that is the first stage. This, is, this one here is for the reverse mechanism which is in here. Um, and that is the last thing to come out as you'll see but the first thing is take this out then drive the lay shaft out with uh, a bar which is slightly smaller than that uh, and obviously uh, long enough to drive that right out um, I'll deal with that in just a second one reason here to make sure that you change this uh, that one obviously it's, it's hardened and it's had a uh, obviously that is cracked and no longer usable. Next thing is to take out this uh, here uh, when the, and the, you'll find that there is, uh, there's a seal behind that. Uh, make sure that you replace that. Down. Next thing, knock the lay shaft out. This is an old lay shaft. You can see this was out of a gearbox that ran out of oil and also ran out of gearbox as you so it totally had it. Um, but this one we'll see when we take it out how much wear and very likely replace it. They come in a kit um, which is worthwhile. Um, expensive item now, a gearbox. So put new in if necessary. Make sure you, you take a couple of photos of uh, where everything is in the, in the gear here um, and you'll see the reverse, the reverse gears in there. Um, all very Very nice, um, and make sure you, you've got an accurate where all the uh, all the brass ones and all the holes, everything there. I've got a good record of that for one. There's the lay shaft nearly out. I'm just um, just knocking it through uh, with uh, with this. It just just knocking it through. It's nearly out, and. Uh, just let the gears drop into the bottom. Kept that gets them out of the way of the rest of this. Uh, I've just spotted on this. You can see the wear on that edge, so this this will have to be replaced. That's the lay shaft out. Absolutely no wear at all on that, so that can go back again. Um, but it remains to be seen what the rest of the. Well, this covers comes off there and um, when you put it back on when you put it back on make sure you put it on correctly this is obviously it's, I took this off some time ago um, uh, and it's got to be all be cleaned up and uh, a new seal put in there so uh, that, and everything but that allows us then this is this this is what's called the first motion shaft so the next thing is to tap it this way and take it right out so a couple of taps with uh, with the, a, a punch just in there and that because it's well lubricated will pull this out. You can see it's it's separated there already. When you take it out you may find that the, the, the top here will come out further. I've used a bar with a small crank on the end just to pop this uh, to level it up because it and then out she comes. Okay, that's that. I can uh, just take out this brass one. Okay, make sure I keep it the right way round. That goes 
that goes into there, keep them together and uh, that's all ready. You'll see in there the needle bearings, they can be changed. Uh, these seem to be fine but um, it's up to you. Uh, I would change them and they come in the kit. Now the next thing is to take off this circlip here. Um, the idea is we want to take this bearing out and take it right off the shaft which will allow us then give us the room to drop this so that this will tilt and come out so all of this mechanism will come out through that direction. So that's my next job. Circlip off and then uh, tap this to um, get the, the uh, I need to get this out. I'll show you that in a second. Just, uh, the circlip off the shaft and don't forget this uh, washer, this thrust washer which they come in various thicknesses and that's your, for your end flow. You tap this this way, this um, will go as far as the body and then stop. The, the idea is that we now have to try and draw the bearing off the shaft and we do that, I, I can't do it with two hands but you, you see a spanner underneath and lever down from both sides so it's even and then that will come out. That's the bearing out and, and you'll notice that from here there's another washer. What I'm going to do, this is the, the first washer that came off, remember with the circlip on the other side, I'm going to tie those together so that I, they don't get mixed up. That's them all tied together, the inner one and the, that's the one on the inside of the gearbox uh, and now that will allow me that is, uh, that is already put that away with the rest of it. This now can, when you push it in, you'll find that there'll be enough room to bring it out. That's the reverse gear. Push this shaft out and the, ge the gear will just drop into the bottom. That's it. And just lift that out and bearing intact there. So that's your reverse. Make sure it goes in the right way around. I've tied these together so nothing moves until I'm ready. And the next thing now is just to lift this right out and you've got thrust washers on there. Make sure you've got those. But this will this is where the lay the lay gear comes through and that will just lift out. The lay gears out. I've again I've tied them. There's a thrust washer at both ends. I've, I've tied them together. Um, they've got, a, a, you can see there's a slot that the, and there's a little peg, you can see a little protrusion there that that goes into the slot. Um, you get it out, it's very tight, you have to get, get out the, the front, this small washer first, get that one out. You can sometimes get it, the whole thing out then, uh, it's either, if you can't then you've got to struggle and get the uh, larger of the two at that end out. Um, just the reverse to come off and, and that's the whole thing stripped out. Hope this is